What do you do when you want to add pictures to your document, but the photos are still on your digital camera or perhaps stored in a shoebox? You can add pictures from your scanner or your digital camera to a Word document. You just need to be sure to save the pictures to your computer first. Hi, I'm Bob DeLobenfels, and I'm here to show you how easy this is. I'll also show you how you can position your picture or use it as a watermark. So first, connect your camera or scanner and follow the instructions that appear. I'm going to scan a picture that I want to use. The screens that pop up and the options that are available will be different depending upon the scanner or camera that you use. The important thing is to just make sure that you save the picture. Now open your Word 2007 document, click where you want to insert the picture. Then click the Insert tab and Picture. There's the picture I scanned. I'm going to resize it and move it over to the right. The Picture Tools tab appears. The Picture Tools tab provides some cool effects. You can you can change the border, you can add some cool effects such as a soft edge, you can even change the picture shape. How you position your picture relative to your text depends upon whether you want the picture to be inline or floating. So what does that mean anyway? An inline picture sets its position by where it is in the text. A floating picture sets its position by where it is on the page. Let me show you some examples. If you want your picture to stay with a specific paragraph, you can position it as in line. And then you choose a text wrapping style. I'm going to choose tight because I want the text to flow around the shape of the picture and not around the picture's placeholder. If you set the position of a picture at halfway down the page on the left hand side, it will stay there no matter how much text you add or delete. So I'm going to insert a new picture. And I choose position, left hand side. Now when you look at the position commands, you don't see a floating option. That's because the inline option acts to position as inline and all those other choices are formats for floating pictures. Now we know that many of you want to use a picture as a background or a watermark. Let's look at how you can do that. You can use the printed watermark dialog to select your picture. Go to page layout, watermark, I'm going to choose a custom watermark, select a picture, and I'm going to use my company logo, Contoso. And you can sort of see it back there behind. You can make changes to your watermark. Just double click in the header or footer and then double click the image. This will bring up the picture tool tab again. But what if you want more options? For example, what if you want the entire picture to be shades of a single color? To do this, you're going to need to insert your watermark image directly into the header or footer instead of using the dialog box. But don't worry, it sounds more complicated than it is. Go to a footer and then click Insert Picture and choose your picture. But of course, you don't want your watermark picture in the footer. So on the picture tool tab under positions, choose the centered option. And then choose for text wrapping behind text. Adjust the brightness setting so that your picture fades a little into the background. To get a single shade of one color, Click Recolor and then choose an option under Light Variations. And 
there's your fully customized watermark on every page. I hope this has given you some ideas about how you can use Word 2007 to put pictures to work in your Word documents. Thanks a lot.